Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different than what I typically have here on this channel, but I have had a lot of interest in watching what a full day would look like on 75 hard. That's a new challenge that I've been doing for the last 30 days, and I will explain what that is and all the details here throughout the video. Um, at the very end, I will be sharing a and A. I've had a lot of questions on Instagram, so I'll be going over those answers. And then I'll also be sharing my before and after pictures with you, uh, how much weight I've lost, inches, all those things. So just stay tuned for the end of the video where I will be sharing that. But there will also be a lot of helpful information throughout the video. So if you're interested in that, I would suggest just watching the entire thing. There's my one workout done. Hey guys, you ready to go in? Now we can have some breakfast, huh? Let's go have some breakfast. Typically right after my very first workout, I will go in and feed Elliot. Usually he's either waking up or he's already awake and so that's when I will feed them breakfast. Okay, I'm going to try to explain all of this while Elliot's asleep. I just ran Ezra to my grandma's house for school and the older two boys are at school right now. So today I have officially been doing 75 hard for 30 days and it is a 75 day mental toughness challenge. So I started on April 5th, today is May 5th and I wanted to just share like what I'm doing, what 75 hard is and maybe just some tips or tricks that I've kind of learned along the way. 75 Hard was created by Andy Frasilla, and I think I'm saying his name right, uh, but he's the owner of First Form. Anyway, it's a mental toughness challenge, and every day you have X amount of things that you need to check off this list, and those things are you have to drink one gallon of water every day, you have to do two 45-minute workouts, they can be longer, but at least 45 minutes, one of the workouts has to be outside and it can be raining, it can be snowing, it can there can be thunderstorms outside, doesn't matter, you have to do at least one workout outside. And I have had a workout in the snow a few times. You have to pick a diet and you have to stick to it, no cheat meals, no alcohol, zero, nothing. You have to read 10 pages out of a nonfiction book and audiobooks don't count. Am I forgetting something? Every day I have a checklist so I just go through everything Make sure that I do everything and I don't forget because if you miss one thing, let's say today I forget to read 10 pages out of my book, I have to start over on day one. That's how this goes. It has to be 75 days of every task getting completed. So I've had a few people ask where I got my checklist because they're everywhere. I've downloaded it off of Etsy. You can search anywhere. They also have an app on your phone like from Andy. He created some kind of app that you can check everything off every day on your phone if you'd rather do that. I like the visual of it hanging on my fridge so that's where I cross my things off every day. For my diet, because I've had a lot of questions about this, what diet am I doing? And I'm just doing macros, but I have cut out fast food, so I'm not allowing any fast food, no candy, and no sweets like cakes or brownies or stuff like that. So for 75 days, I'm eating really, really clean, but because I'm doing macros, it's really flexible. So I can, I still have carbs every day. I still have protein every day. I still have fat every day. I feel like this is something I could stick to long term and that's why I decided to do macros because it's really like more of a lifestyle versus like a strict diet. My meals are very different every day but I will show you an example of what I eat today. I'll show you like my breakfast, lunch, dinner, if I have any snacks, um, what I'm eating just to give you guys an idea. But to get your macros, you can actually just go to Google search macro calculator and you can figure out your own macros based off of your your height, your age, gender, they'll ask you all these questions, what your goal is, like how much weight do you wanna lose a week, and then they will figure out your macros. 
I keep track of everything in an app called Lose It. So every time I eat something, I will just track it in my app lose it and it keeps track of my macros and how many more calories I have left in the day. So I love that it's really simple. They really take all the guesswork. I don't know how I would keep track of macros if I didn't have some kind of app. I know some people like the My Fitness Pro, I think, or My Fitness Pal. I think that's the other one, but I like the Lose It. For my workouts, I have just been doing the Alive app from Whitney Simmons. Basically, every workout I do has been from her app. So what I love about it is she does have workouts you can do at the gym, but if you'd rather work out at home, as long as you have like dumbbells, that's kind of all I've done this entire time. So I will have all of those things linked below. If you guys wanna check the description box, you could click on the links to sign up for those things. The other thing with 75 hard is you decide when you wanna start, you decide again what workouts you wanna do, and you decide what your diet's going to be, and then it's just a matter of sticking to it every single day. I totally forgot today was early out. There you guys are. How was school? Good. Did you forget it was early day? Yeah. Same. I think Eric's here. Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's go put all of our stuff away. Can we put our backpacks? Hang them up. You drew that at school. That's really cute. So for the very first meal of the day, I typically will have one of these protein waffles. These are my favorite. I have them at least once a day. So typically it will be in the morning. I try to also do intermittent fasting. So I break my fast around noon. So that's what time I'm eating today. And again, I'm just having one of these Kodiak cake protein waffles. I will also show you other things I'm eating with it. But my favorite syrup is the Walden Farms calorie free syrup. Even if I'm not watching what I eat. This is my very favorite syrup. I just love the taste of it. And the fact that it's calorie free is just a added bonus. All right. So this is my first meal. I have my Kodiak protein pancakes, a fourth a cup of raspberries and grapes. And then I always have one of these shakes at least once a day, just because they're really high in protein and low in calories, 160 calories for 30 grams. So this is a really high protein meal right here. Um, and I usually like to have high protein first thing in the morning. As I'm eating my meals, this is when I will be adding them into my Lose It app. So I'm keeping track of all the calories I'm eating. I'm making sure I'm eating enough protein throughout the day. And I'm also watching where my carbs and my fat is. So that's what I'm doing right here. So typically I do a workout pretty late at night. In fact, last night I got done at like 11 o'clock if I can remember right, 11 o'clock PM. So every day is a little bit different, but today my cousins are here and we're all going to work out together. And it's only one o'clock, I'm gonna get my second workout in at one. I don't know if this has ever happened, I'm usually pretty late, but I would suggest getting your workouts in as early as you possibly can. Again, today is not typical. Thomas is typically not here right now at this hour, but all of us are gonna go out and do a leg workout right now. So Elliot is still taking a nap. Ezra is still at my grandma's. The twins are here, but they are just gonna be playing in the backyard. So I'm gonna take advantage of this time and get my second workout in. Smell it right away. Why am I so tripped out? Pinch a circle and smell. That's not when you're gonna do it. Okay. Why am I scared? Through my nose or my mouth? Your nose. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I just pinch? Pinch and go. Okay. <coughs> Watch out! <laughs> what is that, a stink bomb? Are you supposed to work out right away? What's the what's the deal with it? Smell it. Oh, da, da, da! <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I just drowned in a swimming pool. That's what I feel like I just... Yeah, like you got... Okay, that smells like when you have 
Water go up your nose when you jump into a pool. That's exactly the same sensation. My biology teacher used to break them and wake up kids that were sleeping in class with that. Are you serious? Hey. Is that legal? Hey. I don't know. Look who woke up again right at the end of the workout. Oh my goodness, you are the cutest little guy. Let me show you guys how cool this little wagon is. Do you love it? I'm gonna take you on a walk. Do you wanna go on a walk? Let's do it. This is the perfect thing. So we got this specifically to go to Lagoonan. Um, it got here yesterday. So I wanna take them on a little walk. Do you guys wanna go on a walk? A walk? Yeah, okay, let's do it, huh? This is really cool too, cause you can actually remove the seats. So if you don't want both seats, you could just have one. What's up, dude? You could have one here. You can also take this canopy off. So really cool. You could fit a lot of things in here. We'll probably take our cooler with us to Lagoon. You want to go for a walk? Yeah. Let's do it. We got Elliot, Cohen, and then Ezra and Simon are out jumping. And while all the kids are occupied, I think I'm gonna sit right next to you and read. Is that okay? Do you wanna do your reading right now or do you wanna wait? You wanna wait? Okay, okay, we'll wait. He loves to watch them jump and he jumps right here, huh? Are you practicing for when you can get on the tramp? Yeah, that would be so fun. All right, here is my lunch. I will have the macros showing you right here. Uh, but I have one hard boiled egg, three ounces of chicken, lettuce, a little bit of cheese, and some Kraft Ranch. This is about as ready as I get these days. I actually typically don't get ready at all during the day. But tonight is Wednesday and I have young women's. So in my church, I'm over the 12 to 18 year old girls. And every Wednesday we do something. So I'm getting ready to go do that. Thomas has the kids. And while I'm out on Wednesdays, he bathes them, gets them ready for bed and feeds them. So when I get home, I usually get home around nine o'clock that I can just jump in bed and go to bed. Cause we usually go to bed around nine o'clock just because we know our days are really early. We gotta get going early. I just got this mirror today. So it's a giant mirror. It's like taller than me. Yeah, jeans and a shirt. It's basically what I live in. If I'm not in yoga pants, I don't do yoga, but if I'm not in yoga pants or workout pants and like a workout shirt, then this is like my attire, as fancy as it gets. So I saved this meal for my last thing every night. What I do, I will do three fourths cup almond milk and I love just the Kirkland it's like 30 calories okay I'm just doing a little bit for now and then one scoop of this brownie batter chocolate protein powder is the best thing in the world one scoop of this I will do half a cup of the chocolate halo top ice cream so the total calories for this is under 200 it's like 190 and you guys, this literally tastes like a brownie batter malt from like a malt shop. It is the best thing in the world. Okay, then I do 10 ice cubes. Our ice cubes are really tiny. So if you have big ice cubes, maybe you're only gonna wanna do like five. Wait, how many was that? Two, four, six, eight, 10. And then I'll splash the rest on here. So I save this, like I said, for nighttime because that's usually when I'm craving my sweets, and it's literally the best thing in the world. So I'm going to enjoy this last meal, and actually, uh, because I haven't had too much protein today, I'm also going to have this, so it's like just a treat. I feel like my last meal is a treat, and I usually, like I said, save this specific meal and some kind of yummy bar for the last meal of the day. Mm. It's so good. I'm holding Elliot right now, so if you can hear him breathing weird <laughs> or making sounds, that's him. One tip I would have is no matter what, if you leave the house, 
take something with you. Always have something in your bag in case you get hungry while you're out. So these are some of my very favorite bars. Um, I order these Power Crunch bars off of Amazon. That's where I have found them the cheapest. The peanut butter fudge one is my very favorite. To me, it tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but like a Kit Kat version because it has that wafer crispy bar in it. It is the best thing in the world. I also love the peanut butter cream. I love their mint chocolate, their red velvet. Honestly, the Power Crunches are my favorite. They have 13 grams of protein and five sugar. Um, so they're okay. Now, when we're talking about more protein, the Built Bars are really, really good, and those have 17. Um, my favorite Built Bar is actually the Coconut Marshmallow one. That one's my favorite. And then these Quest Bars, look at that, 20 grams chocolate peanut butter. I also love, love, love these bars. <laughs> Wanna hold this one? These ones take me quite a long time to eat because it's just like tons of nuts, but they are so good. And this, again, is my very favorite one from their website. So if you like white chocolate, salted caramel flavor is this one, and I love it. I usually grab one of these as well when I'm out. I'll have some kind of like to-go protein shake just in case. A lot of the times I don't end up drinking it, but these two are my favorites. I get both at the grocery store. These Premier Protein are the cheapest at Costco. You can get them for like half the price that you would get them at Walmart. But the best taste, well, they're both really good tasting, but this Core Power tastes literally like you're drinking chocolate milk. It's so good. And there's 26 grams of protein, 30 grams in the Premier Protein. One other kind of a to-go food are these two good yogurts. So I will actually mix one up today for one of my snacks and I'll show you how I do that. Uh, but these are some of the things that I keep on hand just for like quick, easy things on the go. Okay, so I'm filming this on a different day, but I did eat this on that day. I just forgot to record it. So one of my favorite things to do is having one of these two good yogurts. There's only 80 calories in them. There's only two grams of sugar, so they are just really good. I will mix in one tablespoon of the PB Fit and there's only 20 calories here. It's like you get the protein without the fat. And then I will mix half of a protein bar. I will crumble it up like some kind of peanut butter or like a chocolate chip cookie type of bar. I will just crumble that up into my yogurt. It honestly tastes like a treat. I love it. I kind of just use whatever bar I have on hand, but I always mix it with the peanut butter. Another really good yogurt is the coconut. And when you mix it with the peanut butter, it's so good. <laughs> All right, so this is balancing on a baby toy. We'll see how this does. It's a few days later. I wanted to finish this up with my Q&A because I asked if anybody had questions on Instagram that I could answer those at the end of this video. I'll also be sharing my like stats, my weight loss, inches, and those things. So someone said I work 10 hours a day, so I'm doubting that I could do 75 hard. Any tips in balancing both? I would suggest you just would have to work around your schedule. So if you know I have to be up, I have to work at eight, you would definitely want to do one of your workouts in the morning. And remember guys, you could go on a walk for your next workout and that could be your second workout. So it doesn't have to, like you can make this as complicated as you want, no matter what. Like I don't think there is a schedule that you couldn't do this. If you had a lunch break, you could go on a walk during your lunch break. Whatever it is, like if you really wanted to try 75 hard, you could find some kind of workout so it would work around your schedule. And then as far as your diet, sticking to your diet, it would really just be meal prepping and having that all figured out. You are very busy today. You're very busy, huh? Um, so what has been the easiest and the hardest part? I would say some days it's drinking water is the hardest. Some days it's the second workout. I would say most of the time it's the second workout. It's like, cause normally when you get your workout done in the morning and you're drinking your water and you're eating good, you're like, I, I did all the hard stuff in the morning, but, but knowing you have to work out again is definitely the most exhausting part. And I could take it easier. I think I could not do high intensity workouts both times. So actually sometimes I don't. Sometimes I will like go on a walk for my second one or do something a little less intense. But I would say 90% of the time since I started has been two very intense workouts. I don't know how long that's gonna last. We'll see. This next one is how much weight have you lost? 
So I am down. As I'm filming this, I'm actually filming it a few days after like the 30 day mark. I'll show you my scale right here. I I recently bought a Renfo scale, so it tells you like all of the stats of like your body fat, your water weight, your bone mass, skeletal, all the things. And I am down 11 pounds since I started, which is shocking. I like losing 10 pounds in a month to me is really good. And especially because it's been fat, my muscle has gone up, my muscle weight has gone up. So I'm very happy with those results. Um, we'll see what happens at the end of 75 hard. I'm not looking to lose like 30 pounds. So I'm happy with the 11 I've lost so far. Okay, there's a lot of those questions. How much weight have you lost? There you go, go to dad. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, have you lost any inches? And yes, I'm down nine and a half inches total. When I do my like final video for the, like the end of 75 hard, I filmed myself measuring myself. So I will include that in that video. I'm not gonna do that today, but I will do it in my very last one when I like get my final results after 75 days. But I'm very happy with losing nine and a half inches. I think I'm more proud of that than I am the scale because my clothes fit so differently just because of the inches that I've lost. Okay, does 75 hard get easier? Um, I would say for me it was easier the first like three weeks like the fourth week I was like uh but I also I think it was coming upon that time of the month just know you're going to if you're a woman you're gonna go through a few of those so just know like if you're PMSing or angry or really hungry know why like realize it's because of this and not like I'm just done and I'm not gonna be able to get past this. So when I realized, oh my gosh, it's like coming upon that time and I think that that's why I'm having such a hard time. My cravings were through the roof. I switched things up. So if I was really craving chocolate, which is usually what I crave, I had a lot more of my brownie protein shakes. Like I had for sure every day, sometimes I had two, two a day because it's just what my body was wanting, you know? And instead of having a chocolate bar or a brownie, I had a protein shake that tasted like one. Okay, what do you do when you have to cook for everyone else and you and you don't want to feel tempted to taste their food? So I definitely cook something different for my kids every night. It's totally different than what I eat. I've had an okay time with that because usually I will eat before I feed them. So I will like sit down and have my last meal for the day and then I will feed them their dinner and I'm full. So that's been like, I guess a trick that you could do. If you could be simultaneously making both of your meals and then you just eat first, I usually have them outside on the tramp or doing something away so that I can hurry up and eat and then I feed them and it's fine. What meal plan do you follow? just macros, which is really whatever you want it to be. Uh, do you have to do two workouts? I work till four or five sometimes. Yes, that's part of it. You have to do two workouts. And again, one of them has to be outside. But again, you can go on a walk. And that, what I've actually started as of like last week, I was like, I think on Sundays, I want my evening workout and it can be any time of the day, but I chose, I'm gonna do one in the evening and it's gonna be a walk with my family. And it doesn't feel like a workout, but I am like getting steps in, I'm burning some calories, I'm getting my heart rate up, and I'm outside. So you can make this like a family thing and you could do that every single night. Like it's a nightly walk, we go for a walk as a family. How are you staying on track when you have small kiddos? It's really, my days look different every single day. There's not been two days I've woken up and it's like the same. <laughs> because whatever's going on with them, my life revolves around them. So it's really just pre-planning. Okay, my goal is, I have a goal every night. I wanna get my first workout in right when the boys go to school because if I plan it that way, I'll get up and I'll do that. And then if Elliot happens to wake up, then I'll just work around that. But I usually can get the majority of the workout in and then I can entertain him in like his bouncer or something until I need to feed him breakfast. So it's really just having a plan, knowing it probably will never go fully how you planned it, but you have your daily schedule that will just happen and then you have your plan. You kind of just know your routine in your life. And so you know where will these workouts fit in? How can I plan my meals out? I happen to make my meals every day. I don't meal prep per se, but if you're someone who works, you definitely will have to meal prep. I'm just here all the time. So 
that's not something I've had to really do. But if I'm ever leaving the house, I always go with snacks like a protein bar, protein shake, because just in case I get hungry while I'm out, I don't want to be tempted to stop at McDonald's or somewhere else because that's a no-no for me personally on this diet. I said no to fast food. How do you find time to work out twice a day plus cook healthy meals? Honestly, I have spent a lot less time on my phone. That's how I have found time. And I didn't think, like, I think that was the first reason I was like, I would never do that. Like when I heard about the challenge, I was like, I just don't have time. There's no way. But somehow I have found the time every day to do it. So I think it's just a matter of whatever's important to you, it's getting dark in here and there's like clouds. Okay. Whatever is important to you, you'll find a way to do it. And so for 75 days, this has been really important to me. My kids know it. That's another thing I would suggest if you have kids in a family, sit them down and tell them what you're doing. Because my kids every single day, whatever they're eating, they're like, mom, can you eat this on your, on your challenge? Or, oh, there's mom working out again because she's got to get her, work, her second workout in. Like they know how important this has been for me. So they're all just kind of cheering me along and involving themselves as much as they can. So they get excited like, hey, we're going to go on a walk and that's part of mom's second workout. Um, ma -ma -ma. Do you drink the clean, simple eat shakes as a meal replacement? Yeah, because I do add like the keto ice cream in it. The calories are 200. Sometimes I'll add a bar, like a protein bar with it. Like the built bars are only 130 calories. So if I have that together, to me, that's definitely a meal replacement and it's so filling and it's so delicious. So yes, that's what I do. How do you stop being lazy and using excuses? That is what I, I have to fight that every day because I would much rather lay in bed or sit up on the couch and scroll on my phone and do anything but two workouts. I promise I'm with you on there. You just have to get up and do it. How many set of workout clothes do you have and do you change after each workout? I change so much, so many times a day because of this. Keep up on your laundry because if you don't have a ton of workout clothes, I really don't. I have like three sports bras, so they're always in the wash. But yeah, just know like for 75 days, you're gonna be sweaty. <laughs> You're gonna need to shower a lot and it's just not a typical situation like you know a typical person If they are working out they do it one time and then they can wash themselves and they're good But for 75 days like if you can commit to that that you know, you're probably gonna need to change a few times Just knowing it's going to end eventually I think has helped keep me motivated and That kind of ties into another question. Someone said how do you stay motivated? I think the biggest thing is knowing it's going to end, but what you're trying to do here is develop some habits along the way that like I went 75 days without cheating one time, without not working out, without not only just not working out, but you did two workouts a day for 75 days. You're also reading and drinking water, so much water that you probably never drink in your entire life. And so if you can continue these habits long term, not necessarily two workouts a day, but just like maybe now I'm going to do five workouts every week. And man, if I could do that many workouts, if I can do two every single day, I can definitely work out one time every five days and staying committed to that. Um, that's what my like end goal is, is, is just to develop some really healthy, good lasting habits that will be with me long term. Here's another tip. I wrote this down because at the end of every week, what I like to do is like, what did I struggle with last week? Um, maybe it was like time management or one problem has been I every time it comes to like my second workout my phone has always been almost dead and when I'm doing like the Whitney Simmons alive workout I need it to be alive so that I can work out and watch the workouts and the timer goes and everything and so making sure my phone is charged like I charge it throughout the day to make sure that by my second workout I still have a full battery because for my phone, it just, I need a new phone and it drains so quickly. So that's one thing I've, I'm like, I need to work on charging my phone. Another tip is like another thing I've realized, oh man, last week I was really snacky. Like I just wanted to snack all day, but I realized on those days that I felt snacky was because I wasn't drinking my water quick enough. So to just make sure, okay, if I'm feeling hungry, go to my water. How much water have I had? Oh, I've hardly had any today. That's probably why. So just keeping up on my water really just keeping track of your moods, what you feel like you can improve in, and then just making those small changes, but just like reflecting on the previous week, what can I change, and then changing those things that week. I've kept a really good journal on, on those kinds of things, so that's something else I would highly suggest. Okay, without, I don't want this to go crazy long, so I think 
those are all of the questions that I had a lot of the same questions so um, we will leave it at that but thank you guys so much for watching and being interested in the 75 hard it's been really fun a really fun hard but exciting journey that I've been on I will keep you posted I think I'm going to do another one at like around day 50 and then I will do another at the very end with my final results and all of that so thanks again for watching you guys and we'll see you in the next video Thank you.